Professor Plutes. So I'm going to tell you a few things about, about the elephants that I picked up over the years from Mum's work. And first, first and most important, they are totally cool, gentle giants. Okay, did you know that the elephant's skin, it's, it's 2.5 centimeters thick? Okay, what do you call an elephant who never showers? A smelly fit. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny because, because just the word smelly is pretty funny. A anyways, and all the folds and all the wrinkles in their skin, those, those, those actually help keep them cool because they retain up to 10 times more water than the flat skin. How do elephants keep cool? Ear conditioning. <laughs> well, 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 that's actually totally true. Those, those giant head flappers, they serve as a heat radiator. So, so, so when it's really hot, the elephant is going to send more blood to those ears so they can flap them to keep cool. But you, you, you also have to be really careful because they use those flapping ears when they want you to know that they're not happy with you. They're like giant waving warning signals. Anyways, but the most amazing thing about the elephants is the size of their poops. Oh boy, they're gigantic. There's no way those will fit in the little gift bags that mom uses to wrap up my stinky packages. A whole tree could grow from one of those giant poops. What do you get when you cross an elephant with a fish? Swimming trunks. <laughs> okay, okay, so what do you get when an elephant skydives? A big hole. <laughs> Okay, so, 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 so the muscular hydrostats are muscles that work without any bones. Th those appendages, they can easily bend and extend and they change shape because they're made of densely packed muscle fibers that are multidimensional. So, so, so basically, it's muscles that are moving muscles with no bones attached. So, so the elephant trunk, it's so sensitive, it could pick up a small nut on the ground but it's also strong enough to wrestle another elephant. Whoa, that muscular hydrostat can be a snorkel, a hand, or a musical instrument all at once. So there's 40,000 muscles in that snorkel hand muscular hydrostat and, and, and no bones at all. And just to compare, you two-leggeds, you only have eight muscles in your tongue. <laughs> I'm gonna read you a poem about elephants that my mom wrote. She, she likes to celebrate all the weird and unique things about all of us because we all know that weirdness wins. Okay. An elephant's nose, or trunk as it's known, has thousands of muscles without any bone. An elephant's trunk is the longest of things. Through two hairy nostrils, it breathes and it sings. Imagine your nose hung six feet down. Would that make you happy? Would that make you frown? An elephant's trunk has a keen sense of smell. No other critter sniffs equally well. An elephant's trunk reaches the ground to pick up tree nuts or figs that it's found. Imagine your nose was also a hand to itch all your itches or play in a band. An elephant's trunk may look quite absurd as it swings to and fro when greeting the herd. An elephant's trunk communicates all long distance rumbles or trumpeting calls. Imagine your nose just swinging free, making elephant sounds. How weird would that be? Try as we might, it just can't be known. The elephant's trunk is uniquely its own. Okay, 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 last one. Why did the elephant stand on the marshmallow? Because it didn't want to fall in the hot cocoa. <laughs> okay, have a really, really great day and make some noise for the elephants. Bye.